Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a mono black Obosh deck in standard as voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Obosh is a prey piercer if we want to use it as our companion since we can't use cards with even converted mana costs in our deck outside of lands, so only odd converted mana costs. And if a source we control with an odd converted mana cost would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to a permanent or player instead. So a very powerful effect, especially in an aggressive deck like this one. So if you take Take a look at the curve, we only have 1 drops and 3 drops. I tried my best not to include the cat plus oven combo in this deck, which is pretty tempting in any Obosh deck, even though the cat damage doesn't get doubled, since it does count as life loss instead of damage, as opposed to cards like Serrated Scorpion and Footlight Fiend, whose damage does get doubled by Obosh even when they die, so that's a pretty nifty combo. So let's go over the entire list here, at 1 mana we've got Plenty of powerful 1-drops, Gutter Bones as a 1-mana 2-1 that can return from the graveyard. We've got Knight of the Abel Legion as possibly the most powerful 1-drop in standard. We've got Serrated Scorpion as a new addition from Ikoria, a 1-mana one 1-2 one that when it dies deals 2 damage to each opponent and we gain 2 life, so it can potentially deal 4 damage if it dies with an Abosh in play. We've got a Whisper Squad, another new addition from Ikoria, 1 mana for a 1-1 one, one human soldier, and for 2 mana we can search our library for a card named Whisper Squad and put it on the battlefield tapped. So it doesn't seem like much, but especially once we have a copy of Heraldic Banner in play that gives all our creatures plus 1 plus 0, or if we have an Obosh in play, those 1-1s one do start adding up, and they also make for nice sacrifice fodder for some of our 3 drops. And our final 1-drop is Footlight Fiend as a 1-mana one 1-1 one one devil that when it dies deals 1 damage to any target, so this can also be directed towards creatures unlike the Scorpion. Then at 3 mana we've got the full playset of Midnight Reaper that can help us draw some extra cards when our creatures die. Do keep in mind that it does deal 2 damage to us with an Obosh in play as opposed to 1, so it does hurt, but usually we don't mind because the Reaper shines against control decks where life loss isn't super important. Then we've got uh, the full playset of Voice Rider as well, as a way to sacrifice our creatures. So if we have a Serrated Scorpion or Footlight Fiend in play, maybe they can't attack since there's some sort of board stall. But if we play a Bosch, we can still sacrifice them to the Voice Rider and get uh, 4 damage out of our Scorpion, 2 damage out of our Footlight Fiend. So that's another way to potentially close out the game. And then of course later in the game we can also escape it, so it makes for a nice mana sink. And then we also have the full playset of Ayara, first of Lochthwain, as another way to sacrifice her creatures and deal damage to the opponent without having to attack, as Ayara will drain the opponent for one whenever a black creature enters the battlefield under our control. Doesn't get doubled by Obosh, because it's life loss and not damage, but still pretty good in this deck. And then possibly the most powerful card in the entire deck is Heraldic Banner, as a 3-man artifact. We choose black when it enters the battlefield. All our creatures get plus 1 plus 0, and also taps add black mana to our mana pool. So the sequence we like to do with this deck is go turn 1, 1 drop, turn 2, double 1 drop, turn 3, play Heraldic Banner, and possibly play yet another 1 drop with the 1 mana we can generate from the banner. And then the turn after, we have the mana to cast an Obosh on turn 4, thanks to the ramp from Heraldic Banner. And of course the plus 1 plus 0 also synergizes very nicely with the doubling of damage by Obosh, so the two cards play very well with each other. And then the mana base is very simple, 20 basic swamps and 4 castle Lochthwain. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a decent hand, especially if we draw land 3. Let's see what we're up against. An island. Alright, land for banner here would be ideal. Yeah, let's give it a try. Might get quenched. Alright. Still get to grow the Knight of the Ebon Legion if your opponent's playing a counter spell heavy deck. Getting all these one drops in place quite powerful. Because we don't really need to resolve another creature here to win the game. So let's attack with all, see what happens. And yeah, let's go with the Whisper Squad. And end of turn we can get another copy. 
opponent is on a flash deck with a night bonder into cutthroats. Alright, let's get in there with everyone, I think. They can eat some Whisper Squads if they want to. Alright, they've got Octopus as well. Opponent is down to one card in hand, and we still have some pretty good leftovers. So I could deal six to them, plus one from the Fiend, seven, put them to two. Because then the Serrated Scorpion basically kills them alongside Ayara, drains. Or I could just let damage happen, finish off the Cutthroat, and then just play Ayara, that's maybe better. And then we still get to grow the knight, thanks to the one life loss from Ayara. And start playing some of these one drops. Or I guess I can attack first with the knight. Could be awkward if our opponent has a brazen borrower to bounce it if I go and pump. So... Let's start here. Would rather resolve the Scorpion than the Gutter Bones, but both are pretty good. Can get back a Gutter Bones. Let's play a Scorpion. And our opponent explodes. Scorpion enters the battlefield, drains him for one, can sack it, it's another two damage. And yeah, opponent's gonna have a hard time recovering. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play, facing a Kiruga deck. Um, hands okay, could use an extra land. We also don't have any of the high-powered one drops like Gutter Bones or Knight of Ebon Legion, but we'll make do. Let's diversify a little bit. So probably on the uh, Just Guy Fires of Invention. Well, if they have Deafening Clarion, they have Deafening Clarion. Can't really play around it. Could go for an End of Turn Whisper Squad, or I can go Scorpion plus Fiend. I guess End of Turn Whisper Squad's only one damage difference. So it's probably better here. Doesn't feel great to minus on a one drop. Like Alright. So probably wanna still take out the ferry, play a couple one drops. Hope there's no sweeper. Heraldic banner here would be pretty strong. If they do have a sweeper, I would still deal six damage to them.
Brazen Borer bounces a scorpion. That's fine. So the Strider represents six damage here on the board. Can be Cavalier of Flame. Without Kenrith, there's no trample, so we can chum block all day long. Potan might be digging for a sweeper. Clarion giving the Cavalier life link would be bad, because then they get to attack with haste and gain a bunch of life right away. But our opponent doesn't find it and packs it in. Sweet. So Mono One Drops got the job done. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play. Decent hands. Hopefully draw land three in time. All right, this could be some sort of mirror match. Do we want to trade? I guess I don't mind it. Opponent is on red black. And uh, turn to Dreadhorn Butcher. So, probably just attacking with knights. They could block with a scorpion. Do I want to pump? Yeah, it still seems okay. Ooh, Mayhem Devil's bad news, because uh, we can't really remove it, and creatures tend to get sacrificed in this matchup, which translates into me losing a lot of creatures. So I guess Knight wants to keep attacking. And then do I pump? I think so. Basically, I have to win this game by draining them out with Ayara and the damage from Footlight Fina Scorpion. Could at any point take out the Dreadhorde Butcher, sacking the Footlight Fiend. Priest could also be bad news. And an Oven. Do I want a response? Probably not. All right, let's draw some cards. Might see a response from our opponents. Let's just pass. Second oven. As long as we can dodge the Cauldron Familiar, it's not too bad, I guess. Butcher and Scorpion attack. I do have a backup Ayara. So if they spend a bunch of resources trying to kill it, I don't really mind. It seems fine to me. So, Scorpion resolves. So they're gonna attempt to take out Ayara. And then I'm gonna still have to sacrifice another creature, which will also trigger the Mayhem Devil. So they're probably just gonna take out all my one toughness creatures here is my guess. So I think I'll just cash them in while I can. Alternatively, I can just let Ayara die. I sack... 
let's say the gutter bones to the priests. Opponent deals one more, takes out Whisper Squad. Is that better than me prompting another Mayhem Devil trigger? Not sure here. They're gonna take out the Midnight Reaper. That's fine. Guess I'll sack the Whisper Squad. And then they take out Reaper, or I can sack Reaper, they take out Whisper Squad. This way they don't really get to choose which of Footlight Fiend or Squad to take out. And I get to draw an extra card as well. So seems better. So as the dust settles, my board has disappeared. What do we discard? Probably just lands. Next one I can go Yara double one drop. Crocs also triggers the devil and leaves behind some food with the witch's oven. So that was a pretty good turn for our opponents. Attack with the knights. Yeah, we desperately need the life gain from Ayara here. Probably go for second Scorpion over Knights. And then next turn I could play a Bosch and start flinging Scorpions at my opponents, which will deal double damage. A Reveler just draws one card. And Lurus, it's pretty good. Better opponent's gonna pass a turn. So, is it time to play Obosh? I think so. And then do I sack a Scorpion now to put a counter on Knight of Evan Legion? Problem there is that they get a trigger from Devil and they could use Oven. Sacking Reveler to maybe finish off another Scorpion, but I guess I don't care. They could use Priest and then take out my Ayara. Now let's wait. Don't think Banner matters all that much at this point. Doesn't seem to be about attacking and blocking. It's more about uh, dealing damage through sacrifice and Ayara triggers. Third oven. So on the board, I can sack two scorpions, which would deal a total of eight damage to my opponents. They have a food token they can sacrifice, which represents three life. So I think I'm just gonna pass, and if they sack a food, I can respond by 
trying to kill them. Of course, I could use priests, sacking two creatures, making two black mana, which is another two mana they can spend on food. But I don't think I mind what happens if I attack with everyone here. One creature would go unblocked, but they would also gain life from Lurus. But if I kill Lurus, that's good for me. All right, let's get in there. This could get messy. All right, so put Lurus first. And then if damage were to happen right now, what happens? Opponent loses their entire board. They take six, gain three. So they go to four. Doesn't seem bad to me. But we'll probably see priest activation. They go for food sacrifice in response. What happens now if I go for Strider, sack some scorpions? Then they would have to use Priest to get enough mana to survive. But if they have to sacrifice two creatures, then Obosh survives. But then we also have to account for the Mayhem Devil triggers. This is complicated. Could still be fine to let damage happen. But I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I just sacrifice uh, some scorpions here. They are going at uh, gutter bones. And then I'll do it again. Goes at a bush. So they are going to attempt to still kill a bush with Mayhem Devil triggers. But they forgot to use a priest in response and die to the scorpion anyway. Yeah, I'm curious what would have happened if they did use priest in response to second order food token here. Definitely would have uh, meant a lot of extra Mayhem Devil triggers, so things would get even more complicated. But uh, yeah, so it goes. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with. Uh, a reasonable hands. Could use a third lens. Facing a Temple of Mystery. So next time we get to go double one drop. Drawing the second Ayara feels bad. But Ayara plus Gutter Bones is a pretty nice engine if the board ever stalls out. Probably gonna see a growth spiral from our opponents. Alright, never mind. Make it quench. It's another counter spell deck. Well, having that Knight of Ebon Legion in play is a pretty big deal. Let's try again for Ayara. Another Quench. Don't really want to pump Knight, because then if they have a Brazen Borrower, we lose our entire turn. No fourth land untapped, so don't need to worry about Ambusher quite yet. Alright, can just keep uh, playing Ayaros for the rest of the game. Might be getting to the point where they have to bounce Knight if they can. Or chump it. It's gonna be a Cutthroat. Yeah, an early Knight of the Abon Legion puts a lot of pressure on a flash deck. 
and they don't have an easy way to deal with it. Opponent down to five. Third Ayara finally resolves. And that's gonna be game. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play. Fine hands, especially with land three. I guess next turn if I miss on land I want to activate Whisper Squad, so that should be one of the creatures I play. Witch's Oven. It's this uh, Junt Sacrifice deck. It looks like it. Did hit my land at least. So what's the play? Don't really want to trade for familiar with the Whisper Squads, even though they currently don't have the food to bring it back if they do. And it's probably still Banner into Footlight Fiend. So that way if I do draw lands, I get to play a Bosch. A voice Strider. So they can bring back the cats. Don't think I want to send in the one toughness guys quite yet. And I'm playing Ayara into knights. We'll still put a count from both knights. Alright, so we're all set up for Obosh to make his uh, grand entrance. Gilded Goose makes food to bring back the cat. And I've got another one in hand. Well, luckily we dodged Mayhem Devil so far. Perfect land to draw. Probably still stay back with Ayara, but everyone else can get in there. Could have also sacked the Footline Fiend with Ayara, killing Strider before blocks, so they can kill my knights. But the trade is reasonable too. So now I get to kill the cat and shoot down the goose. Opponent still taking 10. Yeah, I guess we'll let damage happen. Alright, so that happens. 
Still fine to let damage happen. Opponent's at seven. Do I kill the goose? Yeah, I guess that's reasonable too. Or I can just let them keep it. They can make food, bring back double cat. Alright, let's sag the fiend now. Our opponent's at 7, they're pretty far behind on board. And they scoop it up, alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Facing a turn 1 Terramander. It's been a while since we've seen that little fella. Probably don't want to attack in case they're on the Night Bonder version and ambush my knights. Of course, if they counter this, I'm free to attack, so that's why we're main facing those. Alright, now I think I'm fine attacking with everyone. They could still have a Night Bonder, but they didn't play it last turn, and if they played now, they're kind of playing off curve. And I also get to maybe resolve uh, one of my valuable three drops. Alright, if they're keeping up mana, I'm tempted to just play a squad and activate squad to get another one. Of course, resolving Ayara would be pretty nice, but it's probably not happening here. Same with uh, Strider. So maybe we can waste their mana by uh, playing around our counter spells. And yeah, opponent did nothing with three. Opponent is on blue rats, so maybe a phoenix build or a version with a sprite dragon from Ikoria. So do we attack with everyone first, or do we try and resolve Ayara into Footlight Fiend? Probably attack first, so we can keep up mana for knights. Our opponent takes it all. Alright. If they want to use their counter spells now, I guess I don't mind. I would like to eventually resolve a Bosch. Get squenched. And a borrower is going to bounce the knights. So how close are we to adapting? Still pretty far. Alright, Obosh is probably not happening this turn. So we'll just attack and then go Strider into Knight. Or Knight into Strider. Not even sure which is more valuable between the Knight and the West Strider here. But they're both quite good to resolve. Maybe a little bit more awkward for them to try and fight over the knight when we have three mana untapped. And then now I'll just go get another Whisper Squad, I think. Or I can activate Castle. Mm -hmm. 
Brazen Borrower doesn't matter too much. Once I get the Strider down, I can also sack Fiend to finish off one of their One Toughness creatures. And maybe sack Scorpion. Alright, GG's. We just had too many one drops which line up well against those expensive counter spells, as we've now seen multiple times. Alright, and we get a nice Terramander reward. It's like we were playing for Anti, like back in the days. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.